incredibly proud of, uh, of, uh, of being involved in this tournament. I know it's my favorite tournament of the year. I'm sure it's yours as well. That's Pretty big announcement for the city of Cornwall today. Uh, we will host a World December Junior 19th, Exhibition right game December 19th. It's a Monday Ed night Ed at the Ed Lumley Arena inside the Civic Complex. And to make the announcement, uh, no one better. He's got World Junior Hockey experience. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs legend Wendell Clark. Wendell, thank you for coming to Cornwall. Oh, great to be here. And we we're talking about the World Juniors and your history with the World Juniors. You talk about how difficult it is to make these teams, and that's in any country. You've got Sweden, you've got Slovakia. Those are two pretty good hockey countries. Well, it is. They're great, and they're uh, coming over here, and they get to play in our hockey mecca here in Canada, and they get to soak up the environment, and they get to play in front of full buildings, and uh, these teams have a, have a riot coming over here to play. They actually probably love playing over here more just because of the support they feel, and, and we're going to see some great hockey out of these, uh, these two teams because uh, they're definitely more and more competitive every year in Sweden, you know, every year's there. Now, you look at the partnership with Hockey Canada and RBC. How vital is it to have a partnership like that to ensure the success of events like this? Well, it, it, you can make the event bigger, you can make it better, you can make it so it's uh, more people get to touch and feel it, and, and that's uh, that's the great thing, and that's with RBC coming out and supporting, call it a grassroots, kind of growing with the kids, uh, uh, getting together and, and and getting the youth involved, and that's, that's the best part for our country is when you get youth involved and then they grow up with it. You've played with Swedes, you've played with Slovaks. Which junior team are you going to be rooting for? <laughs> I'm picking the Swedes here on home opener eh? in, in Cornwall. Well, that's good to know, and you heard it right from Wendell Clark himself. He's going for the Swedes, but it's going to be a heck of a hockey game. It's Monday, December 19th. Wendell, thank you very much for coming, and of course, all the best with the World Juniors and your involvement with the RBC and Hockey Canada Connection as well. Very good. Thank you very much. Joining me now, Denis Aino with Hockey Canada and the executive director of the World Junior Hockey Championship. And um, the connection to RBC and Hockey Canada is pretty important to be able to make something like this happen. Well, it's a wonderful partnership between the two organizations. RBC has been with Hockey Canada for near 25 years. But more important, around the World Junior Championship, they are supporting the, uh, the program prior to the, the championship, the road to the World Junior Championship. That includes a number of... Uh, games, about 10 of them in eight different communities around Ontario and Quebec and that's a fantastic opportunity for the smaller communities to have a good taste of the World Junior Championship. And when you talk about that, an exhibition game here in the city of Cornwall, we've got a rich junior hockey history, so it's kind of a fitting tribute to bring it a game here, Sweden and Slovakia, it's going to be pretty exciting. Absolutely. Uh, when you think about some of the uh, good players that have uh, come out of uh, those teams over the years and uh, more recently, uh, you know, the Nylander and, and some of these uh, players with Sweden. And, and uh, you know, of course, with the junior, we never know what exactly is coming, but we know that there's a good one, a future star that is going to be on one of those teams, that's for sure, and, and probably several of them. And now you, Hockey Canada, of course, got, could tap out to several people to be a spokesperson for this type of event. You tapped Wendell Clark. Why is that? Well, Wendell Clark has been our honorary captain in 2015, and he was gracious enough to accept the invitation to come back. Uh, Wendell is a, a, a great ambassador for uh, junior hockey. He played with the uh, junior team in, uh, back in 85, 86, and uh, he's, he's a wonderful person. Uh, um, so I think it's a very, just a very good fit for the World Junior uh, Championship to have uh, people like that are supporting and be a spokesperson for us. And you also talked about a, a junior team, Denmark, coming to Cornwall for their training camp. That's a pretty unique experience too for non-host cities to, to have a team train for this tournament. I think it's good for the community, it's good for the kids that will uh, have a chance to maybe see them practice and uh, even meet uh, some of these players in the, uh, in the shop, in the, uh, in the <laughs> shopping center, on the, in the restaurants or uh, near the hotel and, and so on. I mean, that's uh, you know, a good, uh, good occasion now to uh, be really close to, to the event. So, uh, and uh, on, on top of that, it's good for the economy of the, uh, of the region as well. So we, uh, we try to uh, support that as well from a Hockey Canada point of view. Denny, thank you very much. And, of course, we look forward to seeing the game. December 19th, tickets on sale now at the Civic Complex box office. It's a Monday night just before Christmas. That's a nice stocking stuffer and an early Christmas present for any family member. Thank you, Denny. Thank you very much. Don't miss it.